Hi, and welcome to the fifth part of these tutorials. On the last part, we learned about data types, and on this part, we will dive deeper. In C Sharp, the data types are categorized based on how they store their values in the memory. C Sharp includes two categories value types and reference types. A data type is of value type if it holds a data value within its own memory space. For example, consider two integers. Int A is equal to 20 and int B is equal to 15. In this case, since integer is a value data type, the system will store number 20 and 15 in the memory space allocated for the variables a and b. If we, for example, decide to assign the value of the variable b to the variable a, this means that the value is duplicated. So the final state would be like a is equal to 15 and b is equal to 15. We call integer a value type because we see that the value is being assigned. Unlike value types, a reference type doesn't store its value directly. Reference types are used by a reference, which holds a reference or an address to the value in the memory, but not the value itself. This means that reference types represent the address of the variable rather than the data itself. Assigning a reference variable to another doesn't copy the data. So let us say we define that string A is equal to A and string B is equal to B. In this case, the string A will hold the reference or the address of that value in memory, not the value itself. Let us assign the B to A. And this is how the final state would look like. So string A and string B, they both point to the same value by assigning the reference. In the final case, we see that instead it creates a second copy of the reference, which refers to the same location in memory. Reference type variables are stored in a different area of memory called heap. This means that when a reference type variable is no longer used, like the A in this case, it can be marked for garbage collection. Examples of reference types are classes, objects, arrays, strings, interfaces, etc. So guys, this is all for this part. See you on the next one.